Good morning, uh, Jackie Broman here for our weekly Monday morning Facebook Live at 10 o'clock. Uh, the topic today that I wanted to focus on was what the estate planning process is like, particularly working with us, because uh, other firms do things differently. But I'm obviously always banging on about um, having your will done, making sure guardians are appointed, considering having powers of attorney, um, making sure someone can make decisions for you in terms of your medical care, making sure you choose the right executor, what the consequences are if your estate is not planned out properly and the issues that can happen. So whilst I'm banging on about all of that, I haven't ever described to you what the process is like and what the benefits, I suppose, can be. So I'd started developing some visuals recently and I wanted to test them out with you guys um, and see if it makes it make sense for you. So the first visual is a triangle. So a lot of people are uncertain about doing their estate planning. Um, they don't know what is involved. They um, don't really want to think about how difficult it could be. They don't want to have some of the difficult conversations. Um, they could be superstitious that if they address the issues, uh, then it could cause them to arise. Um, so there's all sorts of uncertainty. And as people start doing their research and start finding more things out, they start being more proactive and their um, uncertainty decreases up to the top of the triangle, which then says they have certainty control and they're protected. So that's one little visual that I've created just to help explain to people, uh, I suppose, the emotional process to approaching estate planning. Then this other little visual I've created shows all the elements that are in estate planning. So a lot of people just talk about wills and powers of attorney, but there are so many aspects to estate planning. So some of these things would be um, memorial or funeral instructions, what you want done with your body, what happens at your funeral, where you want to be buried or, or your remains interned. Uh, making a personal effects list, um, particularly jewellery, heirlooms, things like that, who gets what. So family trust appointments, if you've got a family trust, we look at the family trust deed, we make sure the powers are given effect. Instructions to guardians, if you are appointing guardians, you need to leave instructions about what your values are and what you want them to do potentially. Life insurance, we make sure that you um, consider it, that we don't necessarily help you um, do an assessment, but we make you aware that if there's not enough money to pay out your debt, then maybe you should do something about that. And in terms of life insurance that's in your super fund, we do make sure that that goes to the right person. Testamentary trust, we consider and talk about that. The binding nominations on super funds. We do advanced healthcare directives. We do the appointment of the medical treatment decision maker. We do the enduring power of attorney for your financial, legal, and personal decisions. Wills, obviously, um, and we, review how your property is owned. So all of this stuff is done in the estate planning process. So we've looked at the emotional issues um, that are addressed through the estate planning process. We've looked at all the documentary things that are done through the estate planning process. This is the actual process that we use at our office. So it is a two interview step. We send you some initial information which helps you prepare. At the first appointment, we get everything that we need from you. If there's anything you haven't brought or haven't thought about or provided to us, that's fine. We draft the documents, we highlight the things we still need and we email them to you. So you've got time to get them all to us before the next appointment because we have all the documents ready to go for the next appointment. Everything's done at this point. Then the final step is we 
Um, send everything off to your accountant if that's relevant. We make sure that all the people you've appointed have, assign, have signed um, acceptance pages. We collate everything, we keep it in safekeeping, we certify some documents to, and we present it all to you so you've got copies at home and that finishes it off. So it's not a hugely complex process and we walk you all the way through. So again, that sort of addresses some of the uncertainty that people feel about even starting the process. You know, we guide people all the way through. And then the final little visual that I prepared, hi Nelly, um, is about, I suppose, what people feel at the end. Um, and again, like I said, I'm just testing these visuals to see whether um, you can relate to them. So, final little visual here. It just demonstrates that um, because we address these things for you, you end up with peace of mind at the end. So, um, because the process is very streamlined, we save you a lot of time and energy. You don't have to worry about um, what it takes because we do it for you. Uh, we keep your family out of court and out of conflict, right? So we, as part of this process, we're strategizing all the time to make sure that it'll be streamlined if something does happen to you. You're protected. Your assets are protected. They're going to where you want them to go. Um, and all your affairs are in order. So it should be a big relief that all things are done and you have peace of mind. So I suppose those are four little visuals that I've prepared um, more recently, just so I can talk people through the process and make it um, a little bit easier to talk about or a little bit friendlier to look at. Because I really want to encourage people to, to get their affairs in order and do this process, um, despite people being quite reserved about having the conversations that are required to around this. Um, you know, if you need my guidance to have those conversations, then at least make the first appointment and we have those conversations together. So whilst it could be confronting trying to raise them individually with your spouse, particularly if there's blended families or your, um, you know, your extended family has, has uh, fractures, um, talking it through with me, um, you know, I'm not a scary person, I hope. Um, we can talk it out in a context then that will hopefully keep emotions fairly low um, because we're working through a process. So there we go, the estate planning process. I hope that that makes things a little bit clearer for everyone. Um, if you do have any questions, you can direct message us through the Facebook page that you're watching this video on, uh, or you can find us on our website and all our email addresses are there so you can personally contact us. Uh, phone numbers are also available in every place that you look. Um, I do these videos every Monday morning at 10, so um, tune in and if you need to share these videos later whilst they're live initially, uh, they do get posted to the page so you can tag someone in it that you know needs